the intention of this group meditation is to connect with you all, first of all. After workshop, it is very difficult to see each other. So connect with you all, that is the first one, first objective. Second thing is to bring the healing, you know, little bit if somebody of you dropped in between, you know, not continuing your sadhana, it is little bit boosting yourself, you know, connecting, boosting, then again coming back to the sadhana, that is second objective. Third objective is bringing the clarity in your spiritual practice. Once your questions are answered, you have a clarity, then you can walk on your path. So these three are very important. And fourth one is where we collectively meditate and pray for our own problems. That is very important for householders. We have many problems. So, this is the platform, this is the place where we make an intention and pray to Divine Mother to solve our problem. When together we are chanting and receiving the energy, that will bring a great solution in your life, great healing in your life. So, that is also one of the objective. Okay? So all this, because of this only we are, you know, uh, doing this group meditation at least once in a month. Because many of our uh, advanced sadhak, they want to get together and meditate. So this is the, you know, idea, this is the objective to do this group meditation. So we have devised the guidelines. First one is invocation of Moolvarga Siddha Parampara, where we make a stronger connection with uh, our Guru Parampara. So that is very important. And second thing is Mahapaduka Guru Mantra. It will help us to activate all our mantras, remove any negativity and give uh, very good results with whatever spiritual practice we are doing. That is very important. Third one is Tirumular Shiva Mantra. This is ultimate consciousness of the truth. Whatever you cannot do it, this mantra does it. It will activate all 543 chakras, 72,000 nadis. Just Thirumala Shiva Mantra does that. Without focusing a chakra, how I can cleanse my chakras, how I can heal my chakras, that is the answer for this. Once we have this together, made a connection with uh, Shiva and his lineage, Siddha Parampara, then Mahapadaka Guru Mantra, that is the source of all Sri Vidya healing mantras. That is the source of all Sri Vidya mantras that will activate, open all the Sri Vidya mantras in my soul. That is Mahapadaka Mantra. Then Tirumalarji Shiva Mantra activates all your nadis, chakras, so that you can receive better the blessing and healing. These three. Once we do this preparation, we are ready for Sri Vidya meditation that we are going to do level one round in next time i am planning you know in this slot of sri vidya level one meditation even the people who have taken the varahi diksha who are not yet taken the sri vidya they can also join and do this you know instead of sri vidya level one round they can do varahi the person who has taken a rajamathing they can do that durga saptash they can do that so that inner meditation slot, timing we have given, that you can do whatever meditation you want. Is it clear? Then we go for Soham. This is very powerful mantra. Of If you read all Upanishads, all the scriptures, 90% of the scripture says that this is the mantra that will give a direct self-realization. This is the mantra of God-realization. And this is the mantra that will align you to your soul, to Shiva Shakti. So we call it as a king of pranayama. King of pranayama. That's what in all Shiva temples, in a, before the inner shrine, the, you know, next to the door of the inner shrine, there is a soham is written. Through soham you reach Shiva consciousness. It is, you know, symbolically shown in the temples what this mantra, what this pranayama does. So we do that also. So once we do this, and once we are ready, then we connect with Divine Mother, Shivakameshwari. 
she is the siddhidatri she is the mother of our moolavarga siddha parampara that is lalitambika raja rajeshwari mahatripur sundari in the form of shivakameshwari in the mahashodashi form okay so that uh, her energy is established in uh, this you know place so she is the taking care of all our uh, spiritual things healing things problems and all so i connected you all to divine mother where you pray to her receive her healing grace ask her interference in your life help you to solve your issues so we did that healing session now we are at this point where we need to bring the clarity in our sadhana because if you have any questions that become a block that become a block and one more thing is nowadays i am getting more emails more than 600 emails from the 3 years 4 years 5 years everyone is sending sending it has become more difficult for me and not only that some of our students are referring to another person send a mail to guruji who is not our student and they are also sending this to you know emails if i don't answer they will feel a bad okay and if i answer they cannot understand because they have not committed one thing no trust no faith no understand not understanding any principle the universal laws that we have done in you know, you know workshop and all it's very difficult for them to understand what i so down the line this group meditation is only way to communicate between us i am going to stop email you know in the down the line only here we are going to communicate and whatever questions we are you know doing this this i am going to put in the you know one playlist we can make group this any questions we will make a videos and we keep it whenever you want you can browse and get the answer ಭಗವತಿ